Hi, today we're going to be looking at the uh, debugging lab. So um, it's found on this page right here, page 67, it's 1.6, uh, building, running, and debugging your app. This lab here says open the Xcode project, first time debugging, great. Try to run the app, note that it won't uh, run due to a few compiler errors. As you've learned in this lesson, compiler errors are indicated by red symbols in line with the mistake or where the compiler guesses the mistake might be. All compiler errors are also listed in the issue navigator. Um, fix the compiler errors so that you can run the app. Here are two of the more common mistakes, missing or extra parentheses or, bra or braces, referencing a function uh, or property with incorrect spelling. That's great. So step two, find and fix runtime errors. Um, uh, were you able to remove all red symbols? Okay, if so, try the app again. This time around, notice that the app stops execution right after opening the simulator, and there's a red line across one of the lines of code on the screen. The fact that the line is red indicates something went wrong. Take a look uh, at the text in the console area to learn what the issue might be. Go ahead and try to solve this issue, uh, this runtime error. It's helpful. You might uh, want to add breakpoints. Uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, now that the app runs, focus your attention to more uh, a few um, on a few more problems. Open the project's issue navigator. You'll note several warnings. So there's a few errors, then several warnings. So let's go ahead and launch it. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch here. I'm gonna launch the app, and it looks something like this. Okay. So let me just go ahead and use the full screen here. Okay, great. Uh, so this is the app. Um, if I open main.storyboard, it's empty. We really care about the view Swift controller. And it looks like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate it using iPhone 7. I'm going to try and run the app. And it says build failed, obviously, because there's error. So let's go ahead and go line by line. Um, before I even go line by line, this is the first time I'm doing it. But the, here's what I'd like to see. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do is to check if the curly braces are correct. So I've got my class here and it ends here. That's great. I've got a function here that ends right here and I've got an if statement that and that that's uh, right here. And I've got another function right here and another function right here. Fantastic. So the curly braces all add up. So let's start with this line it says expected parameter name followed by this happens when it's not written correctly and I could already see the mistake if you did load obviously open parentheses, close parentheses. So that fixes that problem. Okay, let's see. There's another error right here. If I click on it, it says use of unresolved submitho. Well, obviously, we're, we mean method, correct? So method with the parentheses. Okay, that solves that problem. Um, and I think we're good here. It says there's one more error. Let's have a look. Expected... Um, and body of function. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure what that is. Let's go ahead and start this. And it obviously fails. But actually, there is no warning here. Um, there's only warnings. There's no red. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Actually, I'm going to debug again. Let's see what happens. Give it a second. So build succeeded. That's fantastic. I'm going to wait for the simulator to launch. It should be launching, yeah, it should be launching in a sec. And it launched, and the error happened. So there were only two errors initially. And then this error happened. Um, so this error is actually in the app delegate.swift. And uh, let's look at the console. Fatal error can't remove first element from an empty collection. Hmm. This is sort of more advanced. We're talking about arrays here. But here, um, they've created a test array of type string, and they've put only one element in the array um, and after that it said listen remove the first so this line executed fine and then it says remove first again well there is no first anymore because this is gone already so it's an empty array so I'm gonna actually go ahead and comment this out that should fix it um, pretty sure that should fix it so let's go ahead and run the app again wait for the simulator to come up there we go simulator came up no errors okay so th that's fantastic we took care of all the errors um, that's great okay 
So, uh, but there are warnings still. So we've got the simulator, the app is actually running perfectly fine, but there are obviously uh, warnings. So not errors, but warnings. So let's go ahead and solve that. I'm gonna stop the simulator here. So we've got a, a, a warning here. It says variable sample was never mutated. Consider changing it to let. So not mutated means it's never been changed. So why would you use a variable? You gotta use a constant. Okay, so the, the code executes is just not proper industry standards. So I'm gonna change that to a let. And if I run the code here, again, uh, if I run the app, this should execute properly with one warning instead of two now. So that's fantastic. Great, so my, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. The other warning says will never be executed. Let's have a look at this. Um, okay, so here it's saying, listen, you've got an if statement, but the if statement will never be executed because it'll never return a, tr a true um, a true Boolean value. So it'll, it's never a false, so this line will never be printed. Um, um, so, um, so I guess uh, we could uh, change this to uh, if true or or what I could do is um, a simple uh, commenting I could comment this out and comment this out and essentially I could um, that way the if statement is commented out I could delete the if statement but when the uh, uh, code runs this line should print in the uh, in the um, in the console so let's go ahead and give that a look Build succeeded, that's fantastic. Keep your fingers crossed, let's have a look. And yes, so th the app worked perfectly. So print sample and it printed sample and then says, will this line of code ever be reached? Will this line of code ever be reached? And obviously it did because it printed in the console. Um, so um, yeah, we've, uh, cha we've removed two errors here. We moved an error in the app delegate and we've removed two warnings. So that's pretty much the whole uh, lab. Hope you've enjoyed this and, uh, and hopefully clarified a few things about this lab. Thank you for watching.